Hello everybody and welcome back to my channel. Today I wanted to do an updated what's on my iPod touch for the fall of 2017. So let's get into the video. So here is my iPod touch sixth generation again. Um, I'm still using the same case however I did add a pop socket. So this is a galaxy pop socket and I did do an unboxing of this so if you guys want me to upload that then leave a comment. And I also added some emoji stickers. So I had this one with the tongue out and a blue heart down there. So uh, yeah. Now getting into it, turning it on. Um, I did get the iOS 11 update. So it is currently running iOS 11.1 .1, beta 1. And I just decided to go with some of the default wallpapers this time around. So um, I have this classic Apple one for my lock screen and then for my home screen I just have the default iOS 11 wallpaper so I will probably change those soon. So now let's get into my apps. So first of all I have the camera, Safari, Notes, TV, App Store, Clock, Maps, Reminders, Calculator, Instagram, Snapchat, YouTube. And if you want to follow me on Instagram or Snapchat, then here are my usernames. So it's the same for both. So there you go. And next, I have my extras folder. So inside of here, I have the Apple Store, Bitmoji, Contacts, FaceTime, GroupMe iBooks, Road Ready, which is for logging your driving hours. I have voice memos, weather, and then on the second page I have cat paint, which I don't really use a whole lot anymore. Uh, I'm going to have to re-download it, but I'll show you guys that once it's done. I have Chip, which is the app for Chip, which is a robot dog. I don't know if you've ever seen it before. So it is done downloading. So let me show you this. So basically you have um, this galaxy background. You can choose your own photo I think. And then you can add cats. Um, I think this is $1.99. But it also comes with iMessage stickers. So yeah, it's kind of funny. I don't know. Uh, anyways, next I have Find iPhone. I have Geekbench 4. Health and I have the Starbucks secret menu app so I'll show you that once it's done and next I have Google Street View and Wallet so it's almost done and here we go so basically this is where you can find all of the Starbucks secret menu items well actually not all of them I think you have to um, get the paid version of the app which is like a dollar ninety nine or something to get the whole menu or something like that, I don't know. But it's really useful, you can find all of the um, secret menu frappuccinos and things. You can see how to order it, so yeah, it's really, really good. Um, and next I just have settings, and then on my dock here I have messages, mail, photos, and I have this little folder here. So I have some games and things in here, so I have Tiny Tower. Klepto Cats, Tiny Wings, Music. On the second page, these are some of the games I don't play as often, but I have Crown Bird, Dumb Ways to Die, Flappy Fall, Minecraft, and Papa's Freezeria. So, just some games. And then on my second page, I have the eBay app. I have my photo folder, so I have some nice photo editing apps in here. So I have Afterlight, Aviary, Canon Camera Connect, which is how I send photos from my camera to my iPod wirelessly. I have Google Photos, Line Camera, Pick Stitch, Pix Art, and Snapseed. And finally, I have my other folder. So in here, I have the calendar, the feedback app, since I am part of the Apple Developers Program. I have Stack AR, which I'll, I'll show you this really quick. Um, so Stack has been 
out for a while, but they just came out with the Stack AR, which is basically augmented reality. <laughs> but sadly, when I try to tap it, it says AR mode is not supported on this device, but I've seen it's really cool. But yeah, this is a really good game. And then next, I have Student View, which is what I use to check my grades. And finally, I have the YouTube Creator Studio app, which is how I... Oh, I'm in airplane mode. It's how I check all of my YouTube comments and other things. So, yeah. Those are basically all of my apps. So, next, I will just show you the widgets page, I guess. So I have my Siri app suggestions up top, I have my weather, and I have my batteries, and Snapchat. So that's basically it for that, and I'll also show you my control center since this is now customizable. So I have the flashlight, um, yeah, and then I have calculator, stopwatch, camera. I have the Apple TV one, even though I don't have an Apple TV, but I might get one soon. So yeah, I used to have low power mode there, but then they removed it, unfortunately. And then I have my little silent thing. And then I have notes. Sorry. Notes. And then screen recording. So that's my control center. And I guess we can go through some of my music. So, um, I have gotten a lot more songs and I want to get even more soon. So, I have Taylor's new one, Look What You Made Me Do, I love this song, and then I have also Kesha praying, this one's so good, so good. Um, yeah, I'm going to download a bunch more songs too at night, maybe, but yeah music and I guess we can go through photos as well. So I honestly have way too many photos. I have 8,992. Um, so of course I'm not going to go through all of them. But uh, yeah. I actually have some iCarly gifts here. So <laughs> yeah, these are fun. You can actually save these now in iOS 11. This is my favorite one. So yeah, um, I have all these little albums and things, so yeah, oh, those are my photos, I guess. <laughs> um, and I guess that's pretty much it, I don't know what else I could really show you. So yeah. So thank you guys so much for watching What's On My iPod 6 2017 Part 2. I have so many other What's On My Device type videos that I could do for you guys. So I could do What's On My iPhone 5 what's on my iPod 4, that one would be really fun to look through, what's on my iPod 3, what is on my iPhone 3G, what's on my iPod Nano 7, and what's on my iPod Nano 1. The iPod Nanos probably wouldn't be as exciting, but if you guys still want me to do those, then I will. And I will also be getting the iPhone 8 soon, so I'll be sure to do an unboxing of that. And I also want to do a video about my whole Apple collection, so I'll probably do that after I get the iPhone 8. But uh, yeah, that is pretty much it. Thanks again for watching, and I will see you guys in the next video. Bye.